Oh my God, such a vibe. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. All right, so today's video, wait, I forgot to turn on the hair light. Um, so guys, let's talk about today's video. I'm pretty darn excited for today's video because we're gonna be recreating this look. So this is a look that Bella Hadid wore. It's by the artist Sam Visor Makeup. He's a really, really talented makeup artist that I actually like a lot of his looks. I wasn't even planning to film today. I saw this this morning, like this photo, and I was like, <laughs> hold the phone. Like it is such a pretty makeup look. Can you see this? Like, <laughs> maybe I'll try to put, an image on the screen because I feel like you can't really see it that well. Let me scoot to the side. I'll put it here, you know, like a um, professional YouTuber. I'm also gonna do this hair look just because why not? I mean, it's a very Bella hair look. I am obsessed with Bella Hadid right now. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna transform this into this. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on if you want to always uh, be notified of my videos. And if your notifications aren't working, cause I know a lot of you always like DM me and tweet me saying that they aren't. You can always also follow me on Instagram cause I always post whenever I'm like posting a new video on YouTube. I always post on my story on the IG, the gram as people say. You know what I'm trying to say? So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm pretty excited. I have this sweatshirt on because while we do the hair, I'm like, obviously you have to be lifting my arms and there's no way that I'm putting my armpits on the internet today because I have not shaved. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know. I just, I don't even know why I told you guys that really. <laughs> All right, so what you want, ow. Anyways, you want to brush out your hair to make sure it's nice and smoothed out. And how Bella was wearing her hair, it is parted down the middle um, with two pieces like hanging off the side, which again is super 90s. And you want to snatch your face, okay? Like if you don't have a headache uh, during this step, like you might be doing it wrong. I don't, yeah. So you just want to secure that with a little hair tie. Try not to make too many bumps up here. Cause you know, she had like a professional hairstylist, whereas like we're trying to do this like a DIY. So cute. I actually wear my hair a lot like this, half up and half down too. So if you want to do that, you can, totally can. Um, but Bella's hair is all snatched up. So I'm gonna take the rest of my hair and it makes it a lot easier to do it this way where we have the front clipped back because you're going to be surprised. Like if you try this at home, it's honestly a lot harder than it looks to make a bun with a center part. I don't know. I personally have trouble with it. So I found that this way is a lot easier for me to do it with um, or to, to do it. After this, I take the rest of my hair and actually put it into a ponytail wrapping around both the half up, half down pony, the mini pony and the rusty a hair. I mean, you can't really tell if she's wearing her hair in a bun or a ponytail, but I think it's a bun personally. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bun. So now you wanna take some bobby pins. Bobby, 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 Bobby Boucher. Why did you do that to me? Why did you do that, do that, do that, do that, do that to me? Okay, I just like really like jumped across a lot of iconic movies there. But anyways, so what you're gonna do is, this part's obviously pretty easy. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this already, but my technique for a little bun action is to pin it as you go. I feel like it holds a lot tighter this way. So I kind of like twist and then put a little, a pin in to the bottom and then keep wrapping my hair around so I'm like kind of getting it at every angle, if that makes sense. I had a lot of practice on bun life from when I was a figure skater. I literally used to wear my hair in a bun all the time. And of course it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I always have a few flyaways and stuff, um, but I almost feel like that kind of adds to this whole 90s vibe because 90s hair was not very perfect at all and it, you just want something to lift the hair out of your face, like so. Whew, she is snatched up. 
snatched up on top of my head. On top of my head, on top of my head, on top of my head. All right, and then once you have that, the bun part done, you can take some hairspray and for any little flyaways, I take this little toothbrush and comb those bad boys up. And then I have one more step after that just to make sure they stay up. And then personally, I do like to use a uh, color wow. I really do love this stuff. I don't know what's happened over the last couple of years, but I definitely see some sparseness going on in my hairline that I didn't have before. So this just kind of conceals it. It's like hair makeup. It's like literally makeup for your hair. It honestly doesn't look unnatural. Boom. Boom. And you can also put some right here at the root of the hair. Like, do you see that? Do you see what a difference that makes? Um, just making your hair look fuller and nicer. <gasps> That's crazy. And if you do this hairstyle, that then makes that part look a lot straighter too. And then that's pretty much the hair done. Last step to just kind of lock everything into place. I take this pomade from American Crew and I just go right along my hairline just to really lock everything into place. And you can even take a little bit, whatever you have left over onto those little hairs sticking out. The bangs, I guess you would call them. Boom! I love this hairstyle. I feel like, I feel like a supermodel actually wearing this, like a 90s supermodel. Like I'm very like. Now let's get to makeup. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that. Um, I am so excited for this makeup look. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little eye patch situation while I do my brows. So these are from Patchology. I am obsessed with these. Like they are so good. They come in this little tub and you get quite a bit in here. You get 30 pairs. I love these ones though because they are so nice and saturated with like, you know, the serum. So they're gonna make our under eyes nice and saturated for when we put on foundation and concealer and all that. Okay, so for brows, I'm just gonna quickly go in with my Ultra Precise Brow Pencil from e.l.f. The brows that Bella has are very light, actually, so I'm just gonna lightly run my pencil through. I feel like whenever I see celebrities or models, their brows are not, like, perfected, like we see most of the time on, like, Instagram and stuff. So I'm just gonna try to do, like, a light fill-in. <laughs> okay, she's a little cute, a little cutie, little... That's a lot lighter than I normally do, but I actually kind of like that. All right, I, uh, uh, ow. So next up, I'm gonna take a little, this palette from RCMA Beauty. Um, and I know it looks a little crusty crust inside, but it's actually bomb. It's a bomb concealer palette. So I'm gonna take this shade. I don't know the names of them, but you know. We're just gonna clean this little cutie up. Yes. Mm. So this is kind of like a combination of like, uh, kind of like the style that Bella Hadid's brows were, but also mixing it with like my normal Roxette Arisa um, sculpted brows that I do. Um, okay, sis. Never said that before in my life, but um, okay. Next up, we're gonna take these babies off and yeah, my under eyes feel really nice, but I also like to go in with like extra hydration just because that's the kind of, that's the kind of girl that I am. So this stuff, is bomb. bomb with a capital B O M B. It's the LC Cosmetics The Hydra Enhancer Alkaline Facial Mist. Dude, I literally I will go in with this all day long. I love it so much. I feel like it really does hydrate the skin, but it's super lightweight. It smells good, it's refreshing, and it just it literally, I'm telling you, it makes my makeup look so bomb on top. It's really good. So I went in with that. I'm also gonna go in with just a little bit more moisturizer. Um, I've already applied like my serums and stuff, but this is the Good Science Beauty Hydrating Face Cream. 003, hi. Just gonna apply that all over my face. Extra hydration under the makeup. I always feel like my skin looks a lot better whenever I take the time to hydrate my skin. Might as well add a little bit more eye cream too. Why not, you know? 
Ugh, this one smells so good. Oh my God. I literally always forget how good this one smells because I kind of rotate, you know, some skincare items. So this one is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. So I'm gonna prime my lids with some concealer. And by the way, you guys, I totally forgot to tell you on YouTube. I announced this on Instagram already, but for all you NYC peeps, girls and guys out there, um, I'm actually having a meetup in New York, which I'm super excited about. You guys know New York is one of my favorite cities in the entire world. Like I literally wanna live there. Like I love it so much. I did a meetup there last year and it was so nice. Just so many of you are literally the nicest people in the world. And so yeah, I will leave all the details and everything down below, but just wanted to let you guys know. It is on October 13th, which is a Sunday. All right, and then for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this palette from e.l.f. It's called the Everyday Smoky Palette. And I think I'm gonna start off with this shade. Boom. And her eyeshadow goes super far out, like very cat eye shaped, super, super smoked out. So we're gonna start to create that shape as well. And this will also give you that very uplifted, like model, model look. I don't know what I'm trying to go with. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? The model look where it's like, that's what we're going for pretty much with our makeup. You don't want to take the shade too high. We are going to smoke it out, but just for the like initial shape, keep it pretty close to the crease. And then with this matte shade right next to it, um, I'm going to go ahead and just deepen, deepen it up, deepen, <laughs> deepen it up. E27 Detail Blending from Sigma. That's what I'm gonna use to just deepen this crease up. And I like it because it has a super thin tapered tip to it. So we can get right up in there. And I feel like it's important to look at how your eyes look closed too, just to see what the shape is gonna look like once you have your eyes open, instead of always like going like this and looking at it when like your eyes are like almost shut, if that makes sense. Why does the camera keep going in and out of focus? Anyways, um, but do you know what I mean? Like, instead of being like this, where your lid looks like long, which that's easiest for blending, you wanna look at it like this, cause that's how you're actually gonna be looking at people and you don't wanna get crazy and just put this silver like all the way up at the brow. She's got a little pop, a little pop crackle snap. Anyways, so there's some metallic silver on her lid. So we are gonna take this little guy from Maybelline. It's their Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Silver Spark. And what I'm gonna do with this, what I'm gonna do with this little guy, is basically apply it straight to the lid. But again, we don't want to go too high with this. And then just start blending out the edges to kind of like disperse the product. Yes. So honestly, that was exactly what we were going for. And you could see I was actually um, blending it out with my finger because I feel like that, just with the texture of this product, it blended it out nicer. And we don't want to cut crease, obviously. We want something that just gives a little, a little shimmer shimmer right on the lid. So that was perfect. Yes, drugstore eyes. My little elf palette and this little Maybelline I chrome model look on a budget. And I think I'm gonna add on a little bit of this guy from Artist Couture. This is their Diamond Lights Finisher in Icy Girl. Just to add like my own little touch because I really want this eye look to pop. Pop goes the weasel over here. So this is definitely best applied with the fingertips. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It is so pigmented, you guys. Like it is literally everything. This formula, everything. It's just the last little sprinkle on top of an eye makeup look. It's so pretty. Then I'm gonna start to build up this like smokiness. So this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner. You wanna use something that's a little bit smudgy at first, but will set down so that it doesn't move obviously through the time that you're wearing it. I really, really like this one too. So basically what I do is I just apply and then I blend out with a pencil brush and I repeat that process over and over in layers until I get like the smokiness that I want. Ooh, she is blended. Okay, I'm pretty excited for these lashes. Um, I've worn these a couple times. I actually saw these, I forgot where I was. I think I was in Vegas when I discovered these. These are the Velour Lashes in the style Barely There. 
So these are actually a really, really natural pair of lash, but what I like about them is that, see how spiky they are? So they give a lot of impact, and in Bella's look, it almost just looks like they built it up a ton with mascara. It looks so pretty, like this eye situation. And I know this looks a lot darker, but that's because this has flash. You can see on this, this slide, it is a lot darker. Okay, but yeah, this, oh, <laughs> I like it because you can see that lashes really well and they're almost like that chunky look. So I thought these lashes were perfect. So I'm gonna pop those on. So these are almost like demi lashes. So they only go on like the outer edge of the eye. Oh, they're gonna look so good with this look. It's pretty much exactly what she, like the vibe she has going on in the photo. And what you can do if you really want to kind of like just melt everything together even more. I'm gonna take my mascara and just kinda like really do it up today. So you wanna take a black eyeshadow. I'm gonna just, bleh, can't talk. I'm gonna use this one from the ABH Soft Glam Palette. And I'm gonna take that on this Sigma Waterline Liner E17, best brush for this step. And press it on top of where your lashes are so that it's not shiny and it blends in with your lash line and all the smokiness we have going on. I want a little extra hydration. I'm telling you guys, like I will go in three to four times with this stuff through my makeup routine, after my makeup routine, through my skincare routine. Like I want, I need to buy some more of these because it gives you the exact right amount of Hydration. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go in with primer. This is the Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer. Bomb, you guys, bomb primer. You guys know that I typically like a smoothing primer right around the middle of the face or anywhere where I get oily. So I always go in with something that's like more on the smoothing mattifying side. But I was feeling like my skin was getting so dry because obviously it's like we're going into fall and winter. So I found this guy that does have that blurring smoothing effect, but it's still hydrating. So I have been obsessed. obsessed. Anyways, but then on the edges of my face, I'll go in with an oil. So today I'm gonna be using the Farsali rose gold oil or it's called the rose gold elixir and i put that all over the sides of my face just to really get the glow and the hydration and everything and then i'll also take this on the forehead with what's ever left i'm going to be using the lc foundation um micro silk foundation I have been obsessed with this again lately. I used this or I tried it out like years and years ago when it like, I think more so when it first released and I recently went back to it and I've really been liking how it looks on the skin. It is more of a medium buildable coverage. Like it's definitely not a full coverage drying kind of foundation. It sits really nicely on the skin. It just has like a super um, natural skin like finish but I feel like that is perfect for our little model makeover today. Oh, and I'm using it with their, the LC Cosmetics sponge as well, which is nice and big for quick application. This looks so good. Like, do you ever just like forget about a product and then you come back to it later and you're just like, why did I ever stop using this? It's so nice. It like, it literally just sinks into the skin so beautifully. All right, so then after that, I'm gonna go in with my liquid highlighter, which I'm obsessed with this one, the e.l.f. Power Glow. Power Glow, that's what I like to hear, you know? This is actually the rose gold shade. This one is so pretty, because it's like a natural, um, really natural, but like, ooh, 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 kind of highlight, you know? And I literally just press that into the skin anywhere where I'm gonna apply powder highlighter. So pretty. Okay, so then for concealer, I brought several shades of the new Dose of Colors one. I'm gonna test these out for the first time. I think I'm gonna be shade 13, like I'm not gonna lie, but I'm so superstitious. And that kind of just freaks me out a little bit, personally. Um, so I'm first gonna try out number 12. <laughs> I just, I get so superstitious and like I'm like a crazy person when it comes to like this kind of stuff. When I had swatched them, I felt like this one looked too pink, but actually when I'm putting it on, it's 
not too bad. It blends out really nicely. I'm gonna go in with a second layer. I do this with every concealer though. I always go in with one layer right underneath the eyes and then a second layer that's like a bit of a heavier layer to actually highlight the area. And then on this layer, I'll also go down the middle of the fish. This might be kind of ballsy, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the shade 20 just to the outer corners to really get it to blend together with the foundation that we had on. Oh girl, it is looking good. I feel like for me, like this second layer is where I'm like, mm, you know, kind of like where it comes together for me. Actually, the coverage is bomb. All right, now I'm gonna go in and add some contour to my face with my same RCMA concealer palette. Actually, I think this is a foundation palette, but oh my gosh, I keep tapping it as if it was a powder and I think it's just like habit. Cream contour gets you so snatched though. She has like a ton of blush actually going on. If you can see, so I'm gonna do a ton of blush because you guys know I love blush. So like this is right up my alley. I've been obsessed with this liquid blush from NARS. Don't be alarmed at first. It is gonna look pretty dark, but I actually really like the look of like a lot of blush. So I like to apply it with the same sponge because then it still has some foundation left over. So it just like blends really nicely into the cheeks. <laughs> good all right so we're just gonna go ahead and set everything down snatch it up and then while we bake i'm just gonna go in and bronze up the face with fenty beauty island ting all right and then after we wipe away all of this powder guess what i'm gonna do just guess just guess at this point more hydration yeah, I told you guys I'm obsessed. Cause not only does it hydrate, it's also gonna help those powders, like all that powder melt into the skin and just look the most skin-like and natural. And right away, I'm gonna go in with highlighter. This one is also from Elsie Cosmetics. It's called the Eclipse Highlighter, but it's in the shade Soul. I put a little bit in my inner corner and I don't think she had anything in her inner corner, but like I already did it on one side. And at this point, we're just gonna do it. And then of course, a little blushy blush. So I'm gonna use Madison's collab with Ofra Cosmetics. This is the shade Sweet Stuff. Then we're gonna move back to the eyes and finish off this lower half. The lower half really helps with like the smokiness, just adding to that effect. So what I'm gonna do is ombre, a brown liner and a black liner, and then smoke both of those out. So this one is MAC Cosmetics Costa Riche, one of my all time favorites. So I'm putting that on first, and then I'm gonna ombre it out, like I said, with the Maybelline black liner. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. palette that we used at the beginning of the video, take the same shade that we used as our initial transition shade and smoke out this black with it. I kinda want something lighter, like just a little bit lighter. Maybe we'll use the new Classics palette and the shade Muse. But Bella definitely has just a little bit of warmth um, underneath the eye. It's not really on the top part, it's more so underneath. And then we need lots of lashes for this bottom lash line. The lashes were really honestly what caught my eye for this look. And you can take the tip of your mascara wand to really get at the root of the bottom lashes too. That helps to get that like va va loom kind of look for the bottom. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna add more contour onto my nose because I feel like Bella always has that like super like snatched up nose. Snatched up, you can get snatched up. Snatched up, you can get snatched up, you know? So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. Oh, yes. Bella, who are you today? Okay, wow, I feel like that like made like such a weirdly big difference just doing that. All right, and then for lips, I'm honestly really excited about this lip combo. It looks more like she has a matte lip that has a nice ombre, like with a lighter color right in the center. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. This one, it does look like she has some gloss going on. 
you know, right in the middle, but I wanna keep it matte because I feel like that's like very 90s and I'm just like into that right now. So first I'm gonna go in with MAC's Strip Down Lip Liner, which is just a nice brown tone nude. And you really wanna overline the lips right at the center. A lot of people have been asking if I got lip injections and I haven't. When I wear makeup, I can overdraw them really nicely. So this is just another MAC lip pencil in cork. Um, I'm gonna go in with this guy right around the edges so I just outline it a little, little bit more. All right, and then for my lip color, um, I'm actually gonna be using this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick that was part of the Desi Katie collection, the second collection. So this is the shade Mauve, a Mauve Story. <laughs> a Mauve Story. I actually loved the other one called My Main, and I was gonna use that today, but I lost it, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I thought this would be cute too, you know what I mean? I kinda want something a little darker, actually. The formula on this is like insanely good. It's such a good formula. This is so pretty by itself though, but I do want to get like a little closer to her lip color. Oh my God. Oh my God, I was gonna use this liquid lipstick, but holy crap, it smells like so expired. <laughs> okay, let's see if this one's better. A little bit. So I'm gonna place this. Uh, no! I'm trying out like a couple of different ones because I wanna get this lip on point. All right, that is looking super cute. Um, so now for the middle part, I'm gonna use the shade Honolulu. Can't talk today. Honolulu, Honolulu Honey from NARS Cosmetics. One of my favorite lip formulas of all time. Actually, I have to say this lip combo is gonna be like the ultimate lip combo because the formula of that Dose of Colors one is spectacular. Never have used that word in my life, but like spectacular, okay? Um, and then Honolulu. Ugh, these NARS lipsticks are bomb too, okay? That's, let's just leave it at that because obviously I can't talk for some reason, so like let's just leave it at that. Basically, I'm trying to get like a nice little pucker going right in this middle section. Bella? Is that you? Honestly, I'm pretty obsessed. I feel like this could just really become like my signature style now and then me, just call me Bella from now on. Honestly, the makeup and hair, a vibe. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on if you don't wanna miss a video. Also, let me know whatever you wanna see in the comments below and I will be sure to do that. And I love you guys so, so much. Like you don't understand. For any of you guys who live in New York City or around New York City, please come to the meetup because I love meeting you guys. It literally, I, I can't even explain how happy it makes me, how much it fills my heart with so much joy and love and happiness. And I know that sounds so cheesy, but like it really is true. Every single time I have a meetup, I just leave feeling so grateful. So um, I'm really, really excited for my meetup that's coming up in NYC. And that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already said that. Sorry about that. But love you guys so much. You are beautiful inside and out. And I will see you in my next video.